Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me on a very exciting day to finish up and collect my Taycan Turbo S with its completely new look in the green and gold. So we're here at the moment with the G63 at Whoops Will Fix It to pick up the now painted gold wheels and the gold badges. We'll see how those look before loading them into the G-Wagon to take them over to Dub Customs where the car is now in the finishing stages of transforming to midnight green. I cannot wait to see how this is going to look. We've got to fit the badges obviously reinstall the wheels, a few other halo details as well, and then it'll be time to drive it back home. So let's head inside, check out the wheels, get them over to Dub, and finish up the Taycan Turbo S. This beast is currently absolutely filthy, being used at the moment as a G-Wagon should, but it will be interesting when the G and the Taycan are together in the garage, which I use more for daily driving, between the monstrous off-roading beast with a bi-turbo V8 and a ridiculously loud sound, or on the other hand, the luxury and quietness of my first EV, the Porsche Taycan. I don't actually know at the moment which I'm gonna end up using more, but this has been used to bury quite a few things around recently. It hasn't been cleaned in months. We even found ourselves yesterday driving down a dirt road, so it is filthy, as I said, as a G-Wagon basically should be in the back of the car, still has the seats folded down from bringing the wheels over here, then taking the go-kart home as well. We've got some old curtains and bed sheets to use as rags for the wheels in a moment. Talking of which, let's come inside then here at Whoops to take a look at the Taycan Turbo S's Mission E wheels now in Orem Gold. Check these out, the four wheels. We've got the two rears, which are much wider, as you can see from the tires and the two fronts, but the color with a slight yellow hue to it that we've chosen the Orem from 2019 onwards, which is going to fit perfectly with the yellows that you see in the pearlescent of the green vinyl that's been used, the midnight green for the car itself. They're currently equipped with the original center caps. Remember, I did order the new gold ones, which are coming in a few days. I'm not actually sure though, which I'm gonna go for, because these are better than I thought they would with the Porsche Crest in the gold as well. And then for the back of the car, the guys have used the aerosol paint for Taycan Turbo S for the logos. Those are gonna go on the back of the car to match with some of the halo details. We're also gonna be adding later on in this video. But these, I think are gonna suit the color of the Taycan absolutely spot on. I can't wait to get them to the car. So in a second, we will get those loaded up, as I said, we got a bit of a mission, even getting them inside the G. We'll get all of that sorted, get on the road, head over to Dub Customs and see how these fit. So a huge thanks to the guys here at Whoops, Will Fix It, I still love that name, for their work to turn these gold. Now, let's get them over to the car and see how they turned out. We're all locked and loaded. The back of the G is now filled again with a set of Taycan wheels and tires. Fortunately, nice and easy to squeeze all of those in. It's only a half an hour drive or so, which makes life quite convenient for us. Bang on the route we're taking anyway, so around the M25 yet again, but this, I mean, driving like this in comfort mode, and of course the last time we were being slightly more boisterous with it, the G is actually quite a peaceful car to drive, but the Taycan, as I experienced on my brief outings with it so far, has the most incredible comfortable suspension, and obviously it's in silence until you turn music on, which is actually something to talk a little bit more about. But we will cruise on around then, get to Dub Customs, go get these wheels unloaded inside, and go see how they're gonna look on the Taycan. Here we are then, where I've backed the G in so we can get those out in just a moment. But firstly, let's come on through and take a look then at the midnight green Taycan Turbo S. Of course, we do need to get the wheels fitted and we also, considering the time of year, have some Christmas decorations just to make it a little bit more fun. But everything that was the original body painted color, the volcano gray metallic, is now in this fantastic midnight green material, which we will see outside in natural light, hopefully very shortly, but the quality is incredible. Obviously, they fitted various parts back, like the badge on the bonnet, the door mirrors, the door handles. The mirrors have remained in carbon fiber, like some of the trim parts that we're gonna do some pinstripe and halo details on shortly. We've got the handles done in the green. All of this is looking amazing, including the added Christmas decorations that are hanging, but obviously the car sitting on the axle stands until we sit it back down shortly. A template to pop those new badges on in a moment. And also we will get the number plates fitted up as well. There are gonna be some details on the carbon fiber, but this is awesome. The color is much darker than the standard mamba green color that you can get on the Taycan. They don't offer a color like this other than going, I guess, via PTS, but I bought the car as a, an order that was canceled so I could get it as quickly as possible. We've got some gold details on the interior, which I think are gonna tie in very, very well. So let's go get these wheels unloaded, bring them over here and see what they look like next to this color. I'm not gonna lie, these wheels are much heavier than you think they should be. At least they're clean, so I can not actually pick it up. But let's take this through go and see what it's gonna look like right alongside the green. I might ask the guys for some help with the others. 
Okay, let's put this down on the ground here. Yes, 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 yes. It's not gonna stay. That looks good. I've gone for wheeling them. It makes life a little easy. And by the way, there's an event store here at the same time too. Just complete coincidence. But yeah, managed to get them all over. Now we've got to get them fitted in place of the decorations. And while I love the little Christmas tree down there, I think I'm gonna prefer the gold wheels on the car. They'll probably suit it better. We have wheels in situ. Yes, the color works. And actually, even with the yellow calipers, it's not all that bad. It kind of works. I'm happy with that. Our first look then. I think this is cool. This works very, very nicely. It's gonna look so good outside. So the next step is going to be to do some haloing details, namely along the edge of the carbon pieces on the front splitter. Of course, a number plate has to go on. We've got to follow the law after all. We will do some halo details as well along this carbon piece that you have on the side skirt, which is very odd how it's inside this cheapy plastic, but it is how it is. That's how the car is designed. And then finally, this edge along the rear sections too round to the number plate and obviously the gold badges will go on as well to finish off the details this is nice rear number plate time if one does not fail at times then one has not challenged himself a quote from ferdinand porsche the quote i actually had back on the cayman gt4 a couple of years back well, about five years ago now so this hopefully is not going to be too hard to line up something like that don't want to have to retape it so are we good are we good we've got a few guidelines just to make it easier there we go stick that on Rear plate, done. Behold the extra details then. We have some satin gold in exactly the same color as the wheels to accentuate some of the carbon fiber parts to follow the line around. This is detailing like we did on my 675 LT Spider with the purple and the silver, but in this case, the green and gold. And this, when zoomed out and we see it all the final effect, I think it's gonna look mega. That small flash, that's nice. Cool thing, before we stick on the front plate, even the plinth has been wrapped because it actually comes from factory body color. So that's been wrapped. The pinstriping is on the front, which looks mega. So now comes the mission to get the front plate on completely straight and hopefully get this right first go before I stick it down properly, feel it around. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. Maybe a touch up. Yeah, nice. I noticed when I was driving the Taycan in my garage at home that it was super, super stiff. And this is actually now without an axle stand on this corner and it still hangs up in the air like that. That's obviously the strength because it's got the batteries inside. And also over on the other side, just to show you, these are getting some extra details as well. But amazing to see that, lowering it back down towards the ground while the guys are still working on some of the final touches. And look at that on the opener. This is of course the charging port, your little swipe. That tucks back inside, really, really nice details. And the side skirt as well, looking magical. Down it comes then, back onto the ground. Gently does it, and we can see it sitting. Of course, when you put it down into Sport Plus and all the air suspension adjusts, it will sit even lower. But this is definitely, definitely a winning spec, if you ask me. This is how I envisioned the Taycan before actually even buying this car. We're gonna pull the car outside to get some pictures before the daylight goes. It is, of course, winter, but this is looking amazing. We'll need to put the badges on afterwards, but wow. Just bizarre to see and watch it moving silently. But we'll get it outside. I'll run ahead and see what it looks like. Look at that color. That is awesome. Wow. That looks absolutely incredible with the G right alongside. Okay, result. Absolute result. Obviously, very low front end, but just okay. That is incredible. Perfect. I didn't expect it to look so good outside. I did not expect that to look so good. Insane. Seriously, how good does this car look? This was always the intention. I've just been staring at it for a couple of moments because the result is perfection. This is truly stunning, if I can say so myself. I am so, so happy. We do need to pull it in though, just to do the last touches, but wow, just wow. Taycan, I, I'm, look at it, just look at it. We now have badges. The Taycan Turbo S badges are in place, as are the final gold accents, as you can see in the back view of this car. is actually awesome. That looks really, really good. These lines, just accentuating those lower carbon lips, look fantastic. So all that's left now really is running over it, final check, heating everything in, making sure it's all done and properly completed. All of those side stripes, for example, the larger parts. This detail's so nice on the charge ports, but for me, I'm actually gonna have to go and learn and work out how you do charge this thing, how you 
get accounts with different electricity suppliers and charging companies and get it set up. But what an amazing finish. Truly, truly epic. We will make sure everything is signed off and then get it ready, basically. Go straight on back. And this I haven't actually talked about with the gold details on the inside, which of course match perfectly with the gold details on the outside. So where we have the door strips, the door pulls, the accents around the sides of the steering wheel, the bottom, the cup holder surrounds, front and in the rear as well, all, and the air vents, all everywhere, matching in and tying into the outside. It's time to get on the road. So back into drive, surreal experience begins as we will take both the Taycan and the G-Wagon for a quick visit back to Whoops, because of course they haven't seen this car yet. So we will take it to Whoops, we'll fix it so that they can actually see the result of their work to the wheels. It's so weird driving an electric car, but just wait and see what we've actually got planned next. Things are going to get a little bit crazy and might actually involve doing that kind of thing. <laughs> it's just a weird feeling if we go actually up into Sport Plus and then you get all of the sounds as well. Bizarre driving experience, honestly. In fact, just 30 miles an hour. The torque. The torque is mad. The torque is absolutely mad. Okay, all looks good. On we go. Right, national speed limit. My word. That torque. That torque. It's the strangest thing. And I did manage to lose the G63 there in a little bit of traffic, but the feeling of torque without the sound and the crazy drama. Whoa. You can just go and obviously electric motors, no running in in the traditional sense. I do need to adjust and save the new tyre pressures, but what? The way you feel that. Obviously we're in Sport Plus still. This is absolutely mad. This feeling of just foot down, takeoff mode silent takeoff mode. It might be dark outside, but I brought the car in so that I could show it to the guys here at Whoops so that they could see it under the bright lights. And I tell you what, this is just such a cool thing. I mean, the takeout was cool in gray, but like this in the green and gold, that historical style, heritage type, almost livery, I guess. It just looks the absolute business. I'm so happy with the result of this and amazing to be able to come back and show it to the guys as well. But when you come around towards the rear, this is one of my favorite angles of the car. When you've got the gold badges and these accent lines along the bottom it just works as you can see they're quite open to some pretty cool and unusual color schemes as well but this thing just bring on the adventures ahead with this car now that it's ready i will be taking it back out to dub a couple of other little things that we'd like to do and just have a proper run over make it absolutely perfect just in case because of course i've kind of rushed things so that we can get it out so that i can take it now to go and do some other filming with the Taycan and some very cool stuff ahead but i want to say a massive thanks the guys here at whoops a massive thanks as well to the guys at dub customs because this result is amazing and i hope you guys think so as well what an awesome car and this is now the beginning learning how to live with an ev and what you can do with it the porsche taycan turbo s the return of the porsche back into the garage i cannot wait so thank you very much for watching as always guys i appreciate your support an awful lot that is it for this time though and i'll see you again very soon cheers